Alrighty, it's time to get the tinny off. We've been finally able to uh, get it mounted to the top of the D-Max. We're absolutely stoked the way it's come up. And uh, there was no way in hell it was gonna go around Australia without having a boat with us. We've already pulled up in some epic spots and we thought, geez, we wish we had a boat with us right now. And uh, also, it, the D-Max is a little bit better on fuel when towing a caravan. Because, <laughs> uh, I don't know, it's just a little bit more aerodynamic, I guess. Um, so that's another idea to convince your missus to get, get a rooftop tinny as well. <laughs> uh, the boat itself, it's a Quintrex Explorer. 2.6 long and weighs 50 kilos so it's just it's light enough to throw it up uh, just the two of yours and yeah that's why we didn't obviously go with a boat loader don't need it and i'm a, a boiler maker fabricator myself so i've just done this all myself um, which has been really good as well so we'll get into it i'll run you through it so we've been able to still use the pioneer rhino rack platform um, both on the cab and the the canopy and we've just obviously mounted these aluminium brackets to to um, both platforms and i think it's only added like three to five kilo um, to the actual car itself super light because the aluminium um, and super strong as well we've taken it down some pretty gnarly full drive tracks and yeah it does the boat doesn't move around uh, it doesn't rattle or squeak uh, either so super good um, now how we got to mount it up the front here is we've got the just an eye bolt mounted through the uh, roof rack itself onto a turnbuckle another clip and then just the d shackle there uh, mounted to the anchor anchor point on the boat so yeah it doesn't move around just stops that flapping around a little bit um also i've been able to keep the max tracks just under the boat here i've got enough height there to get them on and off really easy and we've just been still be able to uh, ram with the um the solar panel as as well so that's good <coughs> come down to the middle here just how we got it mounted up uh we just ran with the standard tinny bracket there that comes on your boat and we just weld a little tab there uh coming off that bracket just with a spring washer and an eye bolt and that that's all stainless so it won't rust it doesn't doesn't move doesn't come loose or anything okay yeah good. really good um down the back here just got the two eye bolts so that these eye bolts just run on the tracks of your your pioneer platform so you just get them off rhino racks website or whatever um and we just ran a strap through that tighten him up and it holds it holds it there no worries at all and we've also got the rhino uh, rhino rack uh tradie roller and it just makes that a little bit easier getting that boat on and off just put the nose up there and just slide it on and off um also got the nylon strips as well got that off ebay super cheap um and works really well obviously alley on alley it doesn't it's not a good mixture and it just score the hell out of, your, out of your boat as well so best to have a nylon strip up there um, yeah yeah it just slides up so easy um and also been stub still able to run with the bush company awning just off the side there just had to move it out a little bit from where it was um otherwise we're going to hit on the boat but um yeah, i think that's about that's about it for how we got it mounted up um we'll set set the camera up do a bit of a time lapse of us, us getting it off show you how easy it is and we'll give you a walk around on the boat Alrighty, just going to give you a run through on how we got the outboard mounted up in the back here. Uh, just got it mounted on a flat fridge slide. Uh, the motor is laying down. We couldn't set it up because obviously it would clash um, on the top of the canopy there just because of the height of the draw set. And yeah, we just got a cover made up for it and just got it secured with two straps, uh, one at the front, one at the back here. So it's really simple. Um, the motor is a 9.9 .9 horsepower Mercury two-stroke. So it does go really well with the three of us in, in the boat. Um, but yeah, we'll show you how it all goes together. Alrighty, so I'll run you through what we've done to the tinny. Uh, we've put this EVA, it's called EVA floor um, 
marine flooring in. It's super light and it's got a 3M backing on it, so you just stick it down. And the reason why we didn't go carpet, this stuff dries a lot uh, quicker and you don't get your hooks and stuff um, caught in it as well. And it's got like a, it's, it's a soft sort of foam, so it's good on your feet and good to sit on as well. Um, we've just put uh, Railblazer fittings around the boat, like camera fittings, and then you've got your uh, bait board over here, which is pretty, pretty cool. So when you don't want to use it, you just fold him up like that. Or if you want to use it, just, just on a swivel lock. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else we got? Uh, life jackets. Don't forget your life jackets, guys. We've already been pulled over by um, fisheries, <laughs> and they've checked us out. Uh, and little fish net. Already, already christened this. And um, yes, the the fish does catch catch f fish. The fish. The fisherman does. The fisherman fish. does catch fish. Um, I'll put a little video in there for you. I've already christened the boat, so um, you'll find out what sort of fish it is. And down the back here, we've just got the oars, oars mounted in. So they're just like that, and they just fold out. So when Chantelle needs them, she can paddle. Um, just fits in like that. Snap locks. Uh, just a few, a couple of plastic uh, rod holders just from BCF. And like I mentioned before, just the 9.9 .9 horsepower two-stroke Merc, which goes really well with the three of us. So um, that's about it for the tinny. So um, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Um, comment below, and we'll answer any questions you have. See you guys. Yeah.